Greetings, I'm Michael Quinn Patton, back with another edition of Great Moments in Evaluation History, featuring our classics. And today, I want to feature and spotlight the work of Carol H. Weiss, whose work on nothing as practical as good theory had a major influence on the field. In 1972, Carol published the first major introduction to evaluation research that was widely influential and widely used, followed by a second edition in 1997. Also in 1972, she introduced an edited volume of papers on evaluating action programs that was highly influential. But her most important and influential contribution was a paper at the 1995 Aspen Institute Conference on evaluating comprehensive community initiatives to reduce family poverty called Nothing as Practical as a Good Theory. In that paper, Carol made the case for programs being based upon theory, that evaluations should be based upon program theory, and moved the entire field from simple logic models into theory-based evaluation and theories of change. But part of what has been forgotten from this paper was not only her advocacy for theory, but for a particular kind of theory. In her theory-based approach, she said, the theory-driven approach is essential to tracking the many elements of the program or initiative and assuring that the results identified in the evaluation are firmly connected to the program's activities. Tracking all aspects of the system makes it more plausible that the results are due to program activities and that the results generalize to other programs of the same type. What's added to this that I think has been largely forgotten and ignored that is hugely important, especially as we move to looking at evaluating systems and transformation, not just programs, was the importance of multiple theories. In that paper, she said, one significant point should be mentioned here. A program may operate with multiple theories. Most theories of change for programs are singular. They focus on one particular pathway. But Carol pointed out that, but Carol pointed out, I do not mean the different actors each have their own theories, but that the program foresees several different routes by which the expected benefits of the program can materialize. To take a simple example, she wrote, a counseling program may work because the counselor gives support and psychological insight that enables a young person to understand her situation and cope with it. It may work because the counselor serves as a role model for the young woman. It may work because the counselor provides practical information about jobs or money management. It may work because the counselor refers to the client to other useful sources of help. All of these mechanisms are possible, and some or all of them may work simultaneously. She went on to say, a community initiative may work through a variety of different routes. There is no need to settle on one theory. In fact, until better evidence accumulates, it would probably be counterproductive to limit inquiry to a single set of assumptions. Weiss's wisdom, evaluation should probably seek to follow the unfolding of several different theories about how the program leads to desired ends. It should collect data on the intermediate steps along the chains of assumptions and abandon one route only when evidence indicates that effects along that chain have petered out. This was enormously important insight and one that has not received sufficient attention over time. Carol would not have gone along with this bumper sticker and plaque that I've seen in many places. If the facts don't fit the theory, change the facts. Although that unfortunately seems to be the era in which we live. And so this has been a tribute to Nothing is Practical as a Good Theory by Carol Weiss and the importance of tracking and testing multiple theories in a program.